Depression sucks. And I had really bad depression when I got diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. I just wanted to die. But then I got my will to live back and I wanted to live and get better and started working out five days a week. And started feeling great about myself. Went from 80 pounds and dying to 122 pounds in under a month. But depression slips back in and haven't had the urge to work out in about a week now. But I'm sure it'll get better. I can barely sleep. Even taking handfuls of melatonin, tranquil sleep aids... And when I do sleep, I am tormented by my dreams and subconscious mind. My birthday was a few days ago on the 26th of October, and on that day is when my depression really started to take over. Especially when you are alone. I miss watching movies with people, reading books together, having dinner together, and just spending time, even if we never went out to do anything. But now I'm alone, and sometimes that feels worse than dying from cancer. I've burned every bridge I ever had when I was a selfish, twisted, evil person. My life was about nothing but drugs and occult practice and Satan. I lied, stole, and cheated every person I knew. Granted, most of the people I did associate with was the same liars, thieves, etc., and I was, and also mostly twisted themselves. But the few people who was good, I did wrong. And back when I was a member of an organization known as the OTO, or Ordo Templi Orientis, William Blake Lodge, one thing they would always grill into your mind is that confession is always weakness. The grave soul keeps its own secrets and takes its punishment in silence. <laughs> but I see everyone has their own secret sorrow, which the world does not know, and oftentimes we call a person cold when they are only sad. We all have wounds that never show on the body that are deeper and more hurtful than anything that bleeds. Mental pain may be less dramatic than physical pain, but it is more common and also more hard to bear. The frequent attempt to conceal mental pain increases the burden. It is easier to say my tooth is aching or my body is hurting from cancer than it is to say my heart is broken. They say when you feel depressed, it helps to actively change your environment. Go and do something different. It is said Martin Luther conquered his depression by going outside to work in his garden. Surprisingly enough, one of the best ways to handle depression is to go work to go to work immediately on the task you least enjoy. The chances are part of your depression is caused by guilt feelings arising out of the neglect of those tasks. What do you treasure? What do you think would bring you happiness? Who or what are you worshipping? What would give your life meaning? Whose life do you covet? The joyous truth is that perhaps this painful depression is the Lord's way of revealing false gods to you. Bathing our soul in the light of truth will powerfully transform the locus of our treasure. Rather than cherishing success or self-approval or approval of others, we can learn to cherish the Lord because he's lavished such love upon the undeserving. All satisfying treasure is found in this message that God has for us. But depression comes in seasons. It'll come and it'll go.